Welcome to Natrang. So what's up? Um, today Cindy and I are going to Dalat. We have to take a private car or a limousine bus or a bus there. Dalat's kind of tricky to get to if you want to visit there. You usually have to come to Natrang, or not sorry, Natrang. You have to come to Natrang and take a bus up the mountain to get there. There used to be a railway or railroad that I think used to go up there, but it doesn't run anymore. Otherwise, you go to, go to Ho Chi Minh City, Saigon, and fly from there. It's kind of tricky because it's way up in the mountains. So we're gonna take a car there today, and it's kind of a treacherous trip. The uh, mountain up there is a little weird. Uh, there's lots of really steep drop-offs and there is no room for error if there is a accident or the driver goes off the road you're dead you are dead so uh it's gonna be a little scary we're gonna pop a couple xanaxes and see how that goes so i'll show you then all right That's something you don't see in Vietnam. Honks! So we're in the Trang. So for some reason, there is a very large Russian population here. I don't know what the deal is. My city has Somali immigrants and Mexican and Vietnamese. This city has Russians. Very interesting. Half the signs here are in Russia, um, as well as Vietnamese. And it's on the coast. It's a nice city, you know? Smoked salmon toast. This in these pancakes. So regular pancakes. So Cindy and I talked to the front desk at our hotel and they ordered one of these private buses that looks like a party van. <laughs> How come you didn't have a seatbelt? It looks like the bus we took to go see Jewish Priest at the Taste of Minnesota. Yeah. Anyway, I don't know where there's no seatbelt. Right, right down here on your left. Anyway, it was uh, 180,000 BND, the bus for each of us. And it's a smaller vehicle, and it's smaller than a bus, and I don't know. I just feel a little bit better about it, so. Yeah, here we go on our journey to Dalat. We're just gonna pop a little bit of Xanax before this ride too, so. So it chills us out a little bit. Big giant pick and like dump truck blocking the middle of the highway to Dalat. He was backing in, but now he's stuck in the ditch on the side of the road. Oh, here he goes. There's a dog watching too. Looks like a mama dog too. Bathroom break. 
Yeah, I don't know where we are, but the bathroom is over this way. Let's go see what a roadside bathroom looks like. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. They even have little ashtrays so you can smoke while you take a piss. Isn't that nice? Mm hmm. Sweet, bro. These are the absolute best cashews in Vietnam. They're so good. Stop roadside stop. We got a nice refreshing Tropicana Twister. Cindy's gonna christen because I'm sick. Everves Club Soda. So refreshing. We got to the lot, we are staying here at the uh, QA Oyo Hotel. Let's go inside and check it out. So we made it to the lot. Our driver was very good, but we took many risks that no driver would take in the United States, overtaking people on blind curves on the inside or the outside and just like there was cars coming the other way buses big trucks but he knew what he was doing he knew yeah he rocked it yeah it was, i didn't feel uncomfortable yeah we didn't feel yeah i wasn't worried but definitely if you get scared when you're you know scared of driving and it was pretty ball crunching i guess if you will or no or it's like when your balls creep up inside your body Anyway, yeah, we made it here. We're gonna go eat at the seafood place I like called The Goo. Uh, I don't remember the name, I just call it The Goo. Uh, my friend Pearly showed it to me last time I was in Delat. In fact, I stayed at this hotel right here, TTC Premium. It was like 50 bucks a night, but we're not, staying, we're not spending that much this time, so. Anyway, let's go.